Okay, I think we've got him again. Hopefully we've got him again. And we don't have to trouble ourselves with my ill-conceived plan to use our rear tubes. And this whole thing with the hydrophone taking long to acquire is somewhat annoying. But there's the convoy. I mean, I can hear him plain as day. Can you hear something plain as day? I don't know. In any event. We're going to continue forward. Are they heading southwest? No, they're heading south-southwest still. So, let's see. They're about here. Just the whole mess of them. Draw a line. Press a little bit like that. Right. Just doing a little bit of trigonometry here, folks. That's about where I want to hit him. And I think that we're probably actually just about there. We should go silent now. I'm actually just bullshitting with the lines there. Gar, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Getting a little bit closer. Turn us west, because I misunderestimated my speed. All right, we might need to go on the surface. Actually, before I do that, we should do the responsible thing and see if we can find any targets on the surface, because I do know that the destroyer is in the area, but that's him there. He's pretty far away, so we're going to go ahead and surface. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. That was a flanking destroyer. Ugh. We're going to keep going, but we're going to increase our speed. We're going to keep going underwater. It's kind of our job, you know, it's a submarine. It's supposed to go underwater. Okay, hold on. He's going right in front of us. Or is he? <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna go a little bit further under. He could have just seen us right there. He's actually behind us. Mother of God. <laughs> this is bad. And the conditions are a little bit better now, so there is a distinct possibility that he just saw my big fat ass in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> okay, let's just wait until we come back up to depth here. Oh dear, that would have been quite tragic. Am I hearing something being rammed? I'm so confused. Did we just get hit? Oh, okay, that's just the ambient sound, I guess. Good lord. Well, we definitely can't surface now. Because of him. Good grief. Okay, well, I think that we're gonna have to take a shot here in a minute. If we can see anything, ever. So that's that destroyer. Yeah, we're in a disastrous position here. We really can't see very much of anything. Oh hey, there we go. So is there any sign of that Empire Freighter? I might bump us up just a little bit. This is really risky doing this, but... I don't know why our hull is groaning so much. I can't see the Empire Freighter, but that means nothing. So... I'm gonna basically just take shots at that uh, large merchant. If I can find him again. There we go. Okay, that's... 
that's a medium cargo. That's a stupid tanker. That's the Empire Freighter. Actually, he was uh, his silhouette is right against the the large merchant. So tell you what, we'll lob a shot at him, and then at the uh, large merchant. Probably actually at the large merchant first. No, I don't don't want to shoot you. I want to shoot you. Because the large merchant is technically further away. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this pretty quickly because I get the feeling that our butt is hanging out of the water. Come on, you mother loving. Ah, this is fantastic weather and I'm really enjoying it. Engaging in some kind of cognitive therapy here. <laughs> Alright. We'll do that. Magnetic. And fire. Meanwhile, not far away, we're going to shoot at the Empire Freighter. Who should be substantially closer. If he's not, then I'm very worried about the validity of our previous solution. That's probably a little bit too close. Oh dear. <laughs> you guys know the story here with the waves. That's probably about right. Oh my god, these waves are terrible. Okay. Speed 9. Draft is 7. God, I love that I found that out. Somebody on the subsim forums pointed that out, that you can click on just ship and it'll automatically um, bring you to the draft and everything. Okay. God damn it. I'm gonna actually notch it a little bit ahead. Okay. Scope down. We have used all of our torpedoes that we can right now. Um, we do have the external in the uh, rear uh, compartment, but I guess it's not in the compartment if it's external. Um, but we're probably going to have to wait until we get to, I don't know, France in order to use that because uh, the weather is just so horrible here. We're not going to probably be able to do anything with it. And what do we got going here torpedo-wise? This is for the... Oh, that's not a good sign. That was a premature explosion. So that was not going to hit anything. That's just done for. What about the other one? Speeding along. That one, the one that's still going is destined for the Empire Freighter, which actually is probably just as well, you know, because... That large merchant probably was going to take two torpedoes. It's unusual for an Empire Freighter to take more than one, but whatever. Um, can we see our torpedo wake? No, we can't. Well, we'll just focus in on here, because like I said, my uh, cinematography has just... Fuck! <laughs> has been pretty bad, although it makes no difference, because... Both of our torpedoes exploded prior to hitting their targets. Wonderful. Well, um... I would like to go on record and blame Neptune himself for our failure. That really sucks. I'm not going to blame the Christian god, of course. I'm going to go ahead and blame Neptune. So... We're out of torpedoes, <laughs> and we really didn't accumulate very many uh, tons sunk. We hit a couple of things, one of which was neutral and wouldn't have totaled to anything, but a little bit bummed out. We really had a f quite a lot of good opportunities in this convoy, and we basically didn't uh, produce. <laughs>
Uh, I did actually, uh, on the topic of producing and convoys and shit, we did uh, send a radio contact report to BDU. Now, it could have not reached them because of our position, but um, I didn't get any word back about other subs coming to help us, so... Whatever, man. We're just gonna, you know, go back home. Although, with that said, we did sink 42,000 tons, I believe, so far. And we do have a chance to sink something else if the weather improves and we come into this grid here. We could possibly even use our uh, deck gun, which has definitely not been an option um, throughout the rest of our patrol. So, we still have a chance at glory and fame and tonnage. Uh, but for now, this convoy, which we hit a couple of times, sunk a couple ships, is going to escape otherwise unscathed. Drat and damn. We have a convoy, and I really need to get all of my square-related puns out of my system, so here goes. It's time to square off with them. Uh, we're back to square one. Uh, I think that's it. That's all I've got right now. <laughs> as, I, as I think of more of them, maybe I'll insert them randomly. Um, so let's see. Southwest at eight knots. I doubt that they're going to go exactly southwest, but whatever. I'm just going to look at the map here. It could be this uh, occasional convoy that comes through here, so that would really be west-southwest, but they could also be zigzagging, and it could be a moot point. It could be... Um, derp, what was I going to say? They could just be zigzagging and heading exactly west overall, but we're going to find out one way or another. So they're heading 8 knots, which puts them at 14.82 kilometers per hour. We're going to basically say that's 15 and why don't we see what 10 ish hours would be something like that now we're gonna adjust our course and at our current speed too slow but we're gonna increase speed to intercept Vroom! okay and so we're just gonna chase them down I don't have any other square puns. This is ridiculous. Like, you'd think that I would have more. I'm, I'm really trying hard here. I, I, damn it. <laughs> Something about four sides. I don't know. Anybody Anybody out there want to help me out? Yeah, who cares? I'm just trying to fill the time in between, <laughs> between uh, now and the attack. I'm pretty sure we're going to run right into them, but... Um, I think it was Matthew Hoover, who is a awesome commenter. He's been giving me lots of really good info. I'm not going to bother reading that message because it's in French. Um, mentioned that the way that I installed one of the mods, the MEP, Monos' Environmental uh, Poo Poo mod. Um, I think it might have been Project. I don't know. Um, but that mod um, basically makes it so that your watch officers take a good long while before they actually see the enemy. So that can be kind of a problem. But let me just speed things up a little bit. So And that also affects the AI, apparently. They have a hard time seeing you, too. Um, but if you load it in the correct order, that problem goes away. Just a quick comment on the mods that I'm using. So we're just derping around... And I will probably pick things back up once I actually run into them, whether by sight or by sound. Okay, we've actually spotted a ship, and it is a coastal freighter. And it is sailing independently. Um, this is not the convoy, but with that said, it is tonnage. And you know what that means. We're going to move to intercept here. And I... Honestly, we do have just one torpedo, which I was able to load, because as you can see, the conditions have significantly improved. Um, but, you know, getting in a fight with a convoy right now is really... You know, I would like to be able to take a shot at something in the convoy, but that doesn't really... You know, if I can't sink it, like I've been showing you guys how to do, is basically to shoot at something and not sink it. Um, I would really rather just take tonnage I can get rather you know and run the risk of scaring off the convoy. So it was a really dumb way of saying that, but um, we need to actually fiddle with our crew here. 
We got our torpedo guys in the diesel engine compartment, finally making themselves useful. Fantastic. Okay, so um, we're gonna shoot the deck gun at this guy. He does appear to be British. He is not Panamanian, so that's good. Whoa, chill out. What the? Ich versuche einen besseren Winkel zu bekommen. The fuck? <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? I just want you to shoot him. <laughs> I actually turned us too far. He isn't paying very good attention. And it is a little bit rough out here. So hopefully we can land some shots. Excellent, okay. And just go ahead and go hog wild. Where's the freaking there? Fire frei. Good lord! So, <laughs> they just yell a bunch and then they don't shoot. Oh, there you go. Now, I do like the new sound effects, actually. Uh, I think that the ones that we were just hearing with the yelling and everything are actually already in the game. Um, but for some reason, they don't always work. That's a good shot. No, it's not. <laughs> I feel kind of bad subjecting you guys to yet another deck gun attack. Because we all know how these go. We miss, and then we hit, and then we miss. Although in this case, we're just missing a lot. Oh my god! That was one hit! And it just burst into flames! Good lord, what the hell are you carrying? Fireworks? He's got a massive fire behind the stack. Look at all that smoke, too. It's like a green fire. Like, it's... <laughs> it's got some kind of horrible chemical on there or something. There's another fire. Sweet, merciful crap. Glad I'm not on there. He's already starting to sink, too. I think we might just let him go. That one shot just devastated him. That's exactly in the middle, too. There, that's a good shot. If this one's a hit, I'm gonna just call it quits here. Yeah, well, that hit the cargo. I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to fire again. Oh my goodness. That is one really fulfilling thing about deck gun attacks, though. Both for me and for you, there are lots of explosions and lots of fires. So it satisfies my inner pyro without, you know, causing arson. Digital arson is okay. Real arson, not so much. How's this? That looks solid. Like my poop. That was not solid like my poop. That was... You know what? <laughs> no. Just a no, okay? Oh, bye-bye, boat. Okay, yeah, we're done. We're through here. <laughs> Let's see if that one actually hit there. Let's go survey the damage. We only hit him with about seven rounds, I think, but look at that. Just billowing flame. Now, as we've also discovered, you can hear the fire, actually, as a result of the sound mod, which I like, but... Uh, is it supposed to be a crack in the hall there? Good lord. Well, anyways, um, ships can go up into flames like this and still be perfectly fine. So, <laughs> we're going to keep our eye on him and keep our ears on the convoy to see if we can run into it. Because, again, we do have this aft tube. I don't really consider coastal freighters, though, to be worth using a torpedo on. So, now, let's see. Can we hear him? Hmm. I can't hear him. I don't even hear breaking up sounds. So, I don't know what that means. But, we'll just keep our eye on him on the surface. And we'll just keep going on course to... Um, if he starts to sink, I'll record, of course, because we love that. Yeah. So he's still... 
putting out engine noise, which is good for him, but not for long. Uh, I'm going to continue on course, presuming that I'm going to, or assume under the assumption that I'm going to run into the convoy, and if anything happens in between intercepting the convoy, ideally this ship sinking, I will pick things up. Okay, I think he needs a little more help. I'm happy to oblige. Should I take this myself? Oh, why not? Oh, God. Okay. Let's see. Waves are actually really somewhat rough, even though we're not getting any white caps or anything like that. <laughs> Case in point. Kind of a pain right there. Okay. So he's pretty close, I'm wagering. I have nothing with which to wager, but I'm just going to wait until we get out from under the ocean before we shoot. It's usually a good method. There we are. Easy peasy. Oh, he's got some more fire again. He, it looks like one of the fires actually got put out, but not anymore. He's got another fire, so it might have been an overshot. And I believe it was. Just notch that down a touch. That was an undershot. It's really frustrating to me that in this zoomed in view, you can't see your actual cannon, so you can't really tell whether or not you're getting rocked. Blah! <laughs> but we're actually doing some damage here. Alright, just relax. I don't really care about the misses that we're getting because we're on our way home anyways. This is kind of just a, you know, an after dinner thin mint. Just one wafer thin mint. We didn't really have a hugely successful patrol, but, you know, we're still getting tonnage, so what am I saying? It's not over yet. And I think I'm doing a spectacular job. I'm just going to go ahead and congratulate myself before I've even sunk this thing, but... Oh, it's going to sh be short, yeah. See, I can, I can just see it out of the corner of your eye here, but if you're actually looking at your target, it's kind of difficult to see that, and that's an overshot. We've got them ranged out well, it's just the rocking action of the waves is making this difficult. I guess we don't really have to be zoomed in. Because he's so close. Apparently not close enough. Splat. He's just... There we go. I was going to say, <laughs> just so much smoke on there, but... All right, anyways, that's, what, 2,000 tons or so? Not a huge amount, but worth having. We're just going to go ahead and watch him sink. One of my favorite moments, as I know you enjoyed as well. I definitely like the graphical improvements that I've got out of this. Um, that fire looks a lot better, and we didn't get one of those Technicolor tie-dye... Jimi Hendrix experience looking um, explosions like we've had in the past off of this thing. So that's good. That first shot was absolutely devastating though. It was pretty cool. But So anyways, we're going to try to intercept the convoy and um, use our last torpedo and continue onward. Just recording this because it started to explode. Looks like the water is actually hitting the uh, boiler. Or something, I don't know. Magic is happening. That's all that I really care about. Explosive magic. Which is my street name. Ah. This never gets old for me. I just love watching destruction and mayhem. Especially when I'm the one that inflicted it. Well, it's not exploding now. You missed your cue. You could have been a star. Oh, well. gonna watch in odd silence for a while. Oh yeah. Drink it in. Literally, drink the sea into your boat. Oh no! That was one of those ugly ass explosions. Oh well. <laughs> ah, good times. Good times. Everybody's having fun. Oh! Excuse you! 
Dear me. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh dear me. That's gotta wait. <laughs>